Hi everyone, welcome to the session. In this session, I am continuing the problems related to permutations and combinations. See the first question in this session. Here the question is, uh, find the number of ways in which three distinguishable dice be thrown such that uh, the sum is at most 5. Here the condition which is given as uh, sum is at most 5 when three dice are thrown. When three dice are thrown, the sum is at most uh, 5. So, see here, whenever we are throwing three dice, uh, here the maximum number in each and every die, that is 6. Uh, and the minimum number is 1. So, the numbers on a die, that is from 1 to 6. So, the question is, uh, when we are throwing these three dice, uh, sum is equal to at most 5. First of all, to solve this kind of problems, uh, you must know the meaning of uh, at most. What is meant by at most and what is meant by at least. Here, at most in the sense, the meaning of at most is nothing but maximum. Whereas, the meaning of at least, the meaning of at least is uh, minimum, right? Here the word is given as at most. At most 5. It means that uh, sum is equal to maximum 5. Maximum 5. Sum is equal to maximum 5. And what should be the minimum value of uh, sum? Sum is equal to minimum 3. Minimum 3. It may vary from 3 to 5. Sum is equal to 3, sum is equal to 4 and sum is equal to 5. These are the three possible cases. Why we are taking sum is equal to minimum 3? See, the minimum number on each and every die that is 1. Even though if you are getting all 1s, the sum is equal to 3. And the maximum sum is equal to 18. So, the value of sum must be from 3 to 18. 18 only. Minimum sum is equal to 3 and maximum sum is equal to 18. So, here the condition is sum is equal to at most 5. It means you can take a maximum 5 and uh, uh, sum is equal to 4 and sum is equal to 3. These are the three possible cases. Uh, out of these three, sum is equal to 5. If I take sum is equal to 5, the possible cases are here the possible cases for sum is equal to 5. That is uh, 1, 2, 2. And next 2, 1, 2. And next 2, 2, 1. And uh, one more possible case. That is uh, 1, 1, 3. And next 1, 3, 1. And next 3, 1, 1. And next uh, these are the 6 possible cases. Uh, sum is equal to 5. If I take sum is equal to 4, sum is equal to 4, that is 1, 1, 2 combination and 1, 2, 1 combination and 2, 1, 1 combination. Only 3 possible cases. And sum is equal to 3. Sum is equal to 3 is only one case, that is all ones. Sum is equal to 3. Now you can count all possible cases. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Total number of ways. 10 ways. Here the number of ways in which when we are throwing a 3 dice, when we are throwing 3 dice, the sum is at most 5. Number of ways, 10 ways. That is the required answer for this question. Let's move on to the next question. See here. Find the number of 4 digit numbers. Find the number of four digit numbers that can be formed. Here we need to form four digit number by using the digits 0, 2, 5, 7, 9 and 6. These are the six digits which are provided and the number of places are only four. We have to choose any of those six. And uh, one condition is given in this problem. What is the condition? Where a digit can be repeated more than once. Here the sentence. Uh, in this particular sentence he mentions that uh, repetition of digits are allowed. 
where a digit can be repeated more than once. Directly he is saying that repetition of digits are allowed. So any digit can be repeated any number of times. Any digit can be repeated any number of times. So first place in the given digits, in the given digits as we are having the number 0, any number cannot start with 0. Why? Because if a number is starting with 0, it is not a 4 digit number, it becomes a 3 digit number. That is the reason why we should not start with uh, 0. Other than 0, first place can be arranged with any of the remaining 5 digits. That is 2, 5, 7, 9 and 6. Any of the remaining 5 digits. Now from second place onwards, uh, from second place onwards, uh, we can keep any of the digit out of 6. Uh, here second place can be arranged in 6 ways, third place is 6 ways and uh, fourth place is 6 ways. Why? Because uh, here the repetition of digits are allowed. That is the reason why we can use all the digits uh, in each and every possible case. So till then you have to multiply all the numbers. 5 into 6 into 6 into 6 which is equal to 5 into 6 cube. The value is 216. 216 into 5 which is equal to here it is 1000 plus 80. 1080. 1080 that is the required answer for this question and uh, you have to be very much careful about this particular sentence. So many students what they will think is at this position also they will write uh, six ways. Uh, you should not write six ways at the starting position. Why? Because any number cannot start with uh, zero. That is the reason why except zero the first place can be placed with any of the remaining five digits from second place onwards you can keep all the six digits uh, six possible ways why because repetition of digits are allowed therefore the required answer is uh, 5 into 6 cube which is equal to 1080 that is the required answer for this question let's move on to the next question see here in the number of ways in which four boys and four girls sit alternately in a row find the Number of ways in which four boys and four girls sit alternately in a row. See here, according to the given condition, four boys and four girls are sit alternatively. Here total eight members are there. Total eight members. See here, total six, seven, eight. Eight members. According to the given condition, boys and girls are alternative form. Boys and girls alternate form means either boy, girl, boy, girl, boy, girl. And next again boy, girl. And there is another possibility that it must also start with a girl. It is not mandatory that uh, it must start with boy. It is also that uh, it may start with a girl also. According to the condition, both are sit alternatively. It is not mandatory that uh, that particular uh, arrangement is starting with either boy or else girl. It may or may not uh, with boy or girl. Here it is G B G B girl boy girl boy. Here we have two possible cases. This is one case and this is uh, another case. In first case, uh, boys and girls are alternative form. Second case also, boys and girls are alternative form. Now, whatever the case, uh, in first case, we have four places for boys and uh, four places and four members, we can arrange them in four factorial ways. Similarly, girls are also four members and four places, we can arrange them in four factorial ways. Therefore, first way can be arranged in 4 factorial into 4 factorial ways. Whereas coming to second way, that is also same thing. 4 boys can be arranged in 4 factorial. 4 girls can be arranged in 4 factorial. Now, after that you need to add these two. So, here it is 2 into 4 factorial into 4 factorial. Here as we know that 4 factorial means what? 24. 24 into 24. 
24 into 24 which is equal to 576. 576 into 2. Here it is 12, 14 plus 1, 15. And next uh, 10 plus 1, 11. 1152. 1152 is the exact answer for this question. Number of ways in which boys and girls sit alternatively in a row that is uh, 1152. That is the required answer for this question. Guys, uh, I hope you uh, understand all the problems uh, and uh, thank you. Thank you very much for watching.